Well, tonight a major change happening at Wind Resorts after one of their security officers is killed in the line of duty. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Ty Quinones. Trisha has the night off. Well, friends of the 31 year old victim, Yosef Almonte, are applauding the move. Well, officers will now wear ballistic body armor. The decision now coming just hours after Almonte was shot to death by another Win employee. And 13 investigation reporter Joe Bartels right now joins us live with all the details. Joe. Yeah, Todd, Yosef Almonte was well known at this jujitsu gym here in Chinatown. His friends say he was absolutely well liked and his death is certainly tragic. A Marine, a fighter, a hard worker, Joseph Almonte was a picture of strength, determination, and inspiration to those who knew him best. The last couple of days have been devastating for us. It's been uh, here at our gym, everybody is family. Ash Nakano knew Yosef through their workouts at this jiu-jitsu gym. Here he is on the day he earned his purple belt, beaming with pride yet disciplined. Yosef, great person. And it sounds cliche when you say the person just had a big heart. It sounds cliche when you say he was the nicest guy, but in our case, Yosef, he was the nicest guy. The gym coming together to honor their friend by collecting donations. On Tuesday, Yosef, a Wynn security officer, was called to check out an employee who police say was a no-call, no-show for a couple of days. That employee, identified as 42-year-old Reggie Taggett, scanned his proxy card at the Wynn employee parking garage, which alerted security. Police say Yosef was shot by Taggett several times as he approached his vehicle, killing him. Taggett turned the gun on himself moments later. Now, Wynn Resorts enhancing existing protocols and equipping officers with ballistic body armor. So that bullet resistant vest is just another layer of protection based upon that assignment. Adam Coffrin is a retired police officer and has spent years as a security expert and consultant for hotels. He says the shooting is a reminder of the danger security personnel face on a daily basis. Coffrin believes the decision by Wynn may spread to other casino hotels. And I could see this very easily starting to pick up momentum and steam at other properties, uh, whether it's an exterior vest or, or a more subdued interior vest. You know, it's tragic and I'm glad to see that people are they're going to be proactive. Uh, maybe it's kind of reactive, but I think I wish you could have done it sooner. Back at the gym, Joseph's friends are preparing to say goodbye to a man they admired and looked up to. A life taken, but not forgotten. I love you. I miss you. Godspeed. And we've learned there is a memorial for Yosef set for tomorrow. Now, his friends have set up a GoFundMe, which has already raised more than $80,000. If you can help, we have details on our website at KTNB.com. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Joe, thank you for that.